In this video, we'll look at making RSP contribution entries in the Profile T1 module. Let's have a look at Profile. Here I have a 2021 return, and let's look at Schedule 7. So I have um, $5,000 of unused contributions, so this would have been picked up off the Notice of Assessment. And then I have a contribution from March to December of 2021 of 3,000 and a contribution for the first 60 days of 2022 of 2,000. So that means I made no entries on the Schedule 7 and you should not have to. This is the profile RSB deduction screen and I've got the contribution of 1,000 for March to December 2021. There's the first 60 days of 2022, and then I use the contribution period of prior to 2021 to make the entry for the amount that was on the notice of assessment. Now let's look what we got here. We've got it was not entered on the 2020 return. So this is first 60 days of 2021, and it had to be reported on the 2020 return. And if I make this entry, I get this warning. And it tells me that I have to have put this entry on the 2020 return. I cannot make the entry on the 21 return. And we can double check that because if we go to the Schedule 7, there is no place to put the first 60 days of 2021. So CRA does not allow this contribution period, January to March 2021, on the 2021 return. And uh, if you try and use some other category here, you'll get an e-file error. So we have to be careful what we do here. We can do March to December, January to March of the first six days of the next year, or prior contributions that CRA already has on file. If we try and make any other contributions, we'll get a warning from profile or a CRA error. I hope you found this video useful. You can visit our website at profile.intuit.ca for more information about profile and support options.